Hi! One of the powerful uses of Morph Animation in PowerPoint is to visualize ideas and concepts, especially the before-after scenarios. Let me show you three simple examples to prove my point. In this video, I'll also show you how to build those slides and the small trick involved in creating those slides the right way. So watch this video till the end. And if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button. So let us jump right in. Let me show you the first concept slide. This one represents a chaotic situation. Let us say each of these arrows represents people and they are all oriented in different directions. We say this is a representation of our team. We were disoriented and were focusing on different objectives. But the moment we came together and decided on one single goal, we were able to align our priorities to one direction and we were able to move forward. So that is a simple way to demonstrate a before after scenario. Let me show you a variation of the same idea. We say initially as a team, we were clueless and to some extent didn't realize our value. The moment we had a good leader, we were able to realize our value. Can you see how the various zeros are getting their value the moment we added the number one? So number one here represents the leader. Now let me show you a totally different concept you can visualize using Morph Animation. This is the before scenario. You can say company A was a strong player in a certain industry, but due to the differences between the various owners, the company had to split into three entities. Now they are focusing on three different markets. Of course, you can use the same idea in reverse as well. For example, you say there were three different companies working with three different strengths. When they came together as a combined entity, they were able to synergize their efforts and became successful. As you can see, Morph Animation allows you to visualize your ideas and concepts in a simple yet powerful way. What you saw in this short demo was just a small sample. You can easily extend the idea to any number of before-after scenarios. You can visualize a before scenario which is an open scenario transforming into a closed scenario or a weak element growing stronger over time, or a small element becoming bigger over time. There are limitless possibilities of using Morph Animation to visualize your ideas. Now let me show you how I built the slides that I just showed you. I'll also show you a trick that will allow you to build these slides with minimum fuss. But before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Anyway, coming back to our slide creation, the trick is to build your after slide first, duplicate it, and then create your before slide. You will understand this much better when I show you the idea in action. So first, let me show you how we build the slide where arrows align themselves. First, let us go to AutoShapes Gallery. From block arrows, let us pick up one of the block arrows like this and then draw the arrow. Let me create a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to place this exactly where I want it. Then I hit Ctrl D again and let us create multiple copies of this. Let us press Ctrl D and we are going to place this over here. And you already know that Ctrl D remembers the positioning of the various elements. So I can hit Ctrl D again, again and then I can make one more copy of this while holding the control button and I'm going to create the arrow head. So this is a very simple thing. You just need to do it with a bit of patience. And now that we have this, we are going to have copies of this done and we are going to place this over here. And then the one last one is going to be here. And this is our aligned scenario. And how is the alignment happening? It is happening because we are going to have our goal in front of us. So let us write the word goal. Now we have the after scenario. Now to create the before scenario, all you need to do is to duplicate the slide and then create chaos here. You just pick up one of the arrows and then turn it in some direction. Take another one and then turn it in another direction. Keep jumbling things around and create the chaos here and also remove the goal from the scenario. So for that, let us zoom out a little bit and then let us use our arrow key in the keyboard and then take this out of the scenario. So now we have the chaotic situation. Let me do this a little bit. So we are able to get the chaos shown.
Now, since this is the before scenario, this naturally goes as the first slide. And then for the second slide, we are going to add morph transition. So go to transitions and say morph transition. And then let us go to the first slide, go to slideshow. Now we say this was our chaotic scenario. On a click, we bring in the goal and everything aligns to the goal. So it is that simple. Now in the similar way, I created this slide where each one is a separate text box. And then I created the before scenario where I removed this one and kept it out of the scene, removed these commas and brought them down. Let me show you how the whole thing looks. Let me go to the previous page. One is removed from the situation and then zeros are spread all over the place. Then I made this as the first slide and then added morph transition and added this as the second slide. Now naturally I was able to morph the previous chaos into this organized number. Similarly, I created this one single rectangular box and then broke it into multiple pieces. So how did I do that? It's very simple again. Let me create the rectangular bar. So this represents our combined entity. Now to break this into individual pieces, all I need to do is to select the shape and that brings up the auto shapes gallery. I can pick up this tool here called as free form scribble. When I click on that tool, you can see that my cursor turns into a crayon. Now I just can scribble like this randomly and then draw around it to create my shape. When I go to the starting point, the shape gets completed. Now let me create a duplicate slide so we can retain these two shapes. Then select the rectangle, hold the shift button down and select this scribbled shape. Then go to merge shapes and say shape intersect. Now we got one piece. Let us create a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D. Now we just need to flip this horizontally. So select this, go to arrange in the home tab, go to rotate and then say flip horizontally and then place it over here. And we have the original rectangle taken from this, press Ctrl C and then go here, press paste and then make sure all three are properly placed on top of this original shape. Let me right click and send this to back. And if you want to have contrast, you can actually have that in a different color so that we can move it properly. Now we have these two shapes placed on the original one. Now let me create a duplicate of this so we can retain the various pieces. Let us select all three of them, go to merge shapes and then say shape fragment. So we have this shape from this slide. Let us go to the previous slide. We have this shape, hold the control button and select this shape, press control C to copy and then let us paste them all on this slide. You can of course go to shape outline and then choose eyedropper and choose this blue color. So you can see that the lines are completely vanished. Now this is our combined entity and we will create a duplicate slide. Now all we need to do is to rotate this slightly and then place it over here and then rotate this one slightly and then place it over here. Rotate this completely like this and then maybe place it over here and then write your title and make this as your first slide. And then for the second slide, give your morph transition. And so when I go to the first slide and go to slideshow, I can say that these three were the three different entities on a click. They could combine like this and form a combined entity. As you can see, the execution of the idea is fairly simple. The challenge though is to come up with different scenarios and how to visualize the before after transformation. For that, you need two things. One is a strong PowerPoint knowledge. And second is to know how to use the program in a creative way. If you need help with these two things, we have our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. The link to the program is in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and check more details about the program. In the meantime, do you want to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas? Inside the course, I've shared 25 simple and practical ideas you can use in your next presentation. And I have not shared these ideas elsewhere. All you need to do to join the course is to click on the link that you see right now here on your screen. Click join and I'll see you inside the course.